sleep. Oh, I tried to get up twice and the room was freaking spinning. And I had to hurry. And I literally wasn't even like two feet away from the bed. I literally grabbed the bed and laid back down. <sighs> I'm going to go to um CVS. Because yesterday I was reading something about, um you know, your pressure and everything. So I'm going to go to CVS because it's like right up the street and see if I can check my pressure. Because somebody keep telling me that I need to... Um, because sometimes your pressure can go real low, which is not good. And that's just your body telling you that, you know, it's enough, you know. So, I have to see, guys. Today is actually 13, day 13. Um, I'm going to lay down for a little bit because I'm trying to go back and sleep. Oh, my gosh. Check my ketosis and... See, but I want to get up and go try to um oh, check my pressure because my eyes been feeling weird, like my head been feeling weird. Just and now it's like the room is literally moving. Like I'm, I like I just got off a roller coaster, and this is I've I've never had this. This hasn't had start happening since yesterday. It's like my dizziness and and my equilibrium is just getting worse i'm sorry for talking in the dark but i want to be cutting the light on and being all out so oh gosh you know we shall see what's going on oh my gosh this is so freaking crazy man so i went in i had a check and um it was low and i just i just had a feeling because my heart was beating like it wasn't being like it normally do. It seemed like it was boom, boom, boom. Like it, like I could feel it, and it wasn't like a do 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 like that. And I just thought that because I was just not doing nothing, I was just chill. But it was low. My blood pressure usually it be about one twenty four, round and near, not too, round in that area, round in that area, and um. That's the upper number and um, the systolic number. And the um, lower number, the diastolic number, is usually about pushing 80, anywhere between. I've seen that as low as like 78 to, I think I went like 85, 89, and they were kind of concerned um, before. But, yeah, um, it was the... The top one was like 119, 118, 119. She was like, it's kind of like between 118, 119. <sighs> my, bottom one, my bottom one was like, um, it was like right at like 180, 179. So it wasn't too much a difference on the, the bottom number. But yeah, um, for what I'm used to seeing, that was low for me, the um the top number, so the systolic number that was kinda low for me. Um so I um am gonna be making broth. I still I felt so lethargic I had to come in here and lay down. So I'm gonna be making broth, um and just showing you how I make the broth and just sipping on that. Oh, what's on my face? I'm sipping on that and um just relaxing and easing my way back into um incorporating foods um yeah my husband's like bae he was like his last said bae why i feel like i just don't have no energy like uh he was like bae it's gonna take you a couple of days probably almost a week to literally feel like yourself he was like imagine being a hostage and they never feed you and all they give you is water and they release you it's gonna take you a minute to start feeling like yourself again so yeah I, I, oh gosh, just going there. They, I know it's gonna be like, why does lady look like that? I'm like, oh, please, I'm so nauseous. Not nauseous, but like dizzy feeling. Um, so I don't want to keep rambling. I'm about to lay down, cut this fan on, and lay down. Um, and get my bra off once I get up, but not right now. All right, y'all. I just got done. This movie is not over. It's called Like. Arrows. 
if you have not seen that on Netflix, oh, I'm such a crybaby. But I'm only a crybaby when messages are, are spoken through movies that make you think about life different or you already feel like that about life and you just see, you know, a movie portray those things about, uh, you know, just, just, oh my gosh, like Arrows is a great family movie. When I say great, 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 great family movie. Watch it with your family, your husband, your spouse, soon to, soon to be husband, spouse, wife, girlfriend, whatever, if y'all serious and older. Um, and then another one that's kind of weird and twisted, but it was really good and I didn't think I would like it was The Perfection. So those are two movies I can recommend on Netflix. And I just, I don't know, I'm laying here trying to recoup, get myself together. I decided to share those two movies. So guys, um, this is the broth that I'm making oh, so I can break my fast. It's just some filtered water from my fridge right here. I'm getting ready to season it with my own stuff. Let me cut this on medium. I'm about to cut up this spinach because I need to use it. So I'm going to cut this up so I can put that in there and that can just be floating in here. I don't have no mushrooms or anything. So I'm going to just do my own thing. It's going to be a, a broth with spinach in it. So I'm putting some thyme. And that should get really um, soft, so I shouldn't have a problem. And I need some paprika, just a little bit. I'm doing some garlic. I love garlic. And I'm going to do some cumin, cumin, however you say it. A little bit want some ginger and a little bit of curry. I just want this to be flavorful, all types of spices. So we got a little bit of ginger. We're gonna do a little bit of curry and some turmeric. A little bit of curry. And we got some turmeric and I want some soy sauce in here. Um I got a low sodium soy sauce, so that'll be fine. Hold on. Well, I thought I did, but we must have went through that. So I'm going to be using this soy sauce of mine. Just a little bit. And I'm going to be using a little bit of hoisin sauce. It gives it another flavor. Um, just a little bit. I want some more turmeric in here. And black pepper. just a broth that's flavorful with different spices for me so let me cut up this spinach see it's not cut up so I'm gonna cut it up oh I put this in there too for the season like a little instead of salt I put that in there I should have put pink salt but oh well there is my spinach and I'm just gonna let that boil down real good and then I'll be drinking this so, all right, guys. I actually stir it up a little bit first. Can't find a bigger spoon. Stir it up. Let's see how it tastes so far, just to see if it. Yeah, it's gonna be some good broth. All right, let me let that cook down. I've been sipping on the broth, <clears throat> and y'all see the broth that I made. Um, I actually drunk that cup was almost almost full and it is not bad at all I actually made me feel better it does make me feel better still feel sluggish but made me feel better um, and they say I can start incorporating you know different textures throughout the day depending on how my body feel and um, just kind of go from there I'll just take that downstairs um, yeah and change my water give me some more water I'm still drinking water um, and yeah I'm excited to start transitioning into other foods see how that goes so yep this is it so far I'm just gonna be relaxing and seeing how this feels on my tummy and how that works out and 
um, that's about it. I'll come back if I have something else that I want to talk to you about. All right, y'all. I wanted to come to you guys and let you know this is going to be alert in the video that way people I know that's truly following me and watching the videos instead of just commenting something that makes no sense because I can tell you're, you haven't watched it if you're telling me one thing and the video is about something totally different so for those of you who are really following me who have really been commenting and I always comment back it may not be right away but I do my best to comment back to everyone um I wanted to give you a live alert, which is going to be Sunday. This Sunday coming, which is the 2nd, 7.30 p.m. I am going live. 7.30 p.m. I am going live. Oh, excuse me. So look out for that live, 7.30 p.m. I won't be doing any other alerts. If you're watching my videos, you will see this, and it's in this video. So 7.30 p.m. June 2nd. Your girl's going live for questions and answers. Anything you want to know about the water fast and anything that you may have wanted to ask me and forgot to ask me or anything, it will be in the live. I don't know what happened to my eyebrow, y'all. Just, uh, y'all see that? It's ridiculous. But anyways, I could feel them boys in good though. 7.30 p.m. Sunday, June 2nd. I will be going live, so I will see you guys there. So this is May, and this was supposed to be my last day. I was going to go to the end of the month, and I wanted you guys to see that because I um had to stop on the 13th. So, yeah. Um, yep. So basically, three days away from what I wanted to do. Not a big, big, big issue, but... I feel better, I feel more energized, and I like feeling this way versus that way. I just feel like there's nothing that I should do from this point further that makes me feel that way. If I'm not happy or don't feel good about doing it, I just I just can't move for, forward. And, um, yeah, I'm starting to implement food and all this good stuff. Um, so, I guess we shall see where it goes from here. But guess what, guys? Your girl's about to be killing it in the gym, and I'm going to be sharing with you um, more of what I'm going to eat in a day type of thing. So this journey is not over. I still will be vlogging Monday through Friday, but like I said, on Sunday, you will hear all the details of what I'm doing and we will go from there. All right, guys.